I got lip balm. I got face balm. I got eye balm. Y'all ever seen eye balm before? No, that's right. You haven't. Get on my level. Ooh, what's going on, guys? Bells Phoenix here, and today... We're gonna be taking an adventure. Uh, I got recently asked to go to California. This will be the second time I've gotten to Cali in like two months, so yay for traveling. Uh, we're going for Dolby Digital and Plantronics this time. They're inviting me out to play with some cool new tech. They got some headphones they want me to try out, and uh, we're gonna be playing those with Gears of War 4. So I haven't played Gears in a really, really long time. We'll see how I do. I hope they're not expecting like any pro level play or anything like that. But what they've asked me to do is document the trip, make a little vlog, and uh, put that on my channel. So you guys will be right there on the adventure with me. I am about ready to go. I got my DS giant 10,000 milliamp power bank because, you know, can't have your devices dying while you're traveling. Sweater weather, a nice overshirt, some underoos. And uh, I just got to get my toiletries packed. But after that, I am good to go. The only thing I don't want to do is get on a plane and leave at like 5 in the morning. It's going to be a lot of traveling. So anyway, I'll see you guys at the next jump. I'm not good at this vlog thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Good morning. It sure is 5 a.m. It's so early that even the sun hasn't even woken up. So we're going to hop in the car and then I got to drive to the airport in St. Louis. You see this? Do not travel like me. I have less than an hour to get on my plane. We made it! Now I gotta get through security. This will be so much fun. Okay, we made it on the sky bus. I'll see you guys when we land. to Chicago. Sorry I'm keeping these like segments I guess kind of short. I just feel like a total ass recording in public so probably gonna see you guys when I get to San Francisco. Okay I made it. I'm in California. Now I gotta get a lift to my hotel so that should be fun. See you guys there. excited to see what this place looks like. Not bad. Holy shit. This is really cool. Minus the, you know, police sirens and stuff. Let's see if I get a view this time. Last time I didn't. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, check that out guys. Damn, this is really cool. So, uh, I'm gonna try to shake this cold. I'm gonna take some more medicine. As you can tell, I'm kinda sicky. But uh, apparently I'm supposed to be meeting some of the guys hosting this event for dinner tonight. Maybe they'll let me, uh, or they'll want me to vlog that or something like that. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, pretty excited about the digs. I've definitely stayed in worse. I love this chair. All right guys, I'll see you at dinner time. Alrighty, it is dinner time. I'm absolutely starved, but Hoping maybe I'll meet some new friends tonight. I don't know if they'll want me to vlog this dinner part, so I may or may not. We'll see. I don't know. If not, I'll see you guys probably like later tonight or tomorrow or something. I don't know. Anyway. Alrighty. It is very late. Finally back in the hotel. Got an early start tomorrow, so I'm just going to go ahead and crash now. Alright. Night. Good morning. It's not 5 a.m. I actually got, like, decent sleep last night. Uh, so, I know I had, like, a couple snippets of all the stuff that was kind of going on, and we had a really good time. Like, these guys from Plantronics and Yellow Pike Media are super-duper cool people. Uh, we went to this restaurant called Rambler. It was really good. It had, like, a really cool dining area and everything, but I didn't want to fill in the restaurant because people were eating and then uh, they took us to this this beer bar that was really, really cool. They had like all kinds of like craft beers and stuff. We were like down in the cellar where all the kegs were. 
That was pretty cool, too. So today, the real event starts, though. The whole reason for me being out here, uh, we're going to go to the Dolby Labs, and they're going to show us around. We're going to play some games. We're going to do all kinds of cool shit. They're going to want me to film all of it. And uh, I think that's going to be a real adventure. And then that's pretty much it. After that, uh, the day is pretty much over, and then I get on a plane tomorrow morning. So I think today is going to be a lot of fun. I'm supposed to meet these guys in like 15 minutes or so. But first, I need coffee. So we're going to do that, and then I will see you guys at the next interesting thing that happens. I don't know. I kind of don't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are like, I don't know if I want to be on camera. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do YouTube. Here is the Dolby Laborat. Is this where we're going to be today? This is it. That Blade Runner panorama though. Look at, oh my god, it's animated. Holy oh. crap, can we go inside? Let's do it. Revolving doors are hard. Wow, look at that. That is really cool. So this goes all the way around this wall. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. I gotta watch it too. I haven't seen it yet. I don't think I've ever seen a building so fancy before. You know, it'd be really cool. I've always wanted like, I want my vlogs to feel like I'm like like it's a first person video game. You know? Just strap your phone to your chest like a GoPro. Yeah. Just constantly wandering around. Just to the chest. Yeah. <laughs> Not to my forehead? Yeah, yeah, just right to your chest, like with a giant strap. Right. You see this audiovisual pathway. Um, in most of the cinemas around the world, there are a few cinemas in the US. And what this does is it acts as a transition from the craziness of the outside world to the immersive environment of Dolby Cinema. And it's kind of a decompression zone and kind of a get ready to see the experience zone. So let's walk on in. Or decompress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, this is cool. really cool. So these are ultra short throw projectors. This is a, just a standard gyp board wall. That's all that is. Um, oh, and the projectors are And then the projectors up there. And oh! The sound system that we get it's just the several room. projectors putting this image on the. Yeah, because see, look, it's on your hand. Oh, the, I could hear it go by. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was neat. So this is okay. the Dolby yeah. Cinema. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and take a seat in the first row okay. to start with. These are nice chairs. Thank you. They look real cool. <laughs> Who are you guys? Where, uh, we're, we're paparazzi. Yeah. Paparazzi. Yeah. I thought that was me. <laughs> this is incredible. I love the blue. I know, me too. It looks so cool. And like around the screen. I know, right? That's sweet. All right, so what we just saw was the Dolly Theater, and it was pretty freaking dope. And uh, apparently, it was more than pretty freaking dope. Where, it was super freaking dope. Where are we going? I have no I idea. Know. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, by the way, this is a new friend. Yeah, I was gonna say, we you wanna to introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Minolta 1034. Okay. I'm from Ready Up Live. Yep, and I'm Bows Phoenix from Bows Phoenix. <laughs> so. We did it. We did it. Okay. And this is. Oh, we're we're getting into a Is this a three-way? Is that what <laughs> three-way? <laughs> Right here. But yeah, yeah, so I know it's gonna be terrible. Look at this guy. This guy goes in the swag. That's a pretty cool looking Darth Vader. Yeah, it's a real good Darth Vader you got right there, boys. I don't know why. I don't know why that Darth Vader has a gun, but uh, yeah, Darth Vader's lost some weight. Is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. He's got a shotgun of some sort. Yeah, it looks definitely like a shotgun, right? That's a Darth Vader shotgun. Another really cool theater type room. It's another really quiet. Someone clap their hands. I know, dude. It's so, like, <laughs> oppressively quiet. <laughs> going? This is the mix room. <laughs> Hello. Hey, come on in. Grab a seat. Killer room is our mixing and mastering suite that's mostly uh, formatted for home theater use. Uh, so it's set up in a 7.1 plus 4 configuration is what we call it. Uh, so there are seven speakers around you, left, center, right. Right surround, right back, left back, left surround. Four overheads, uh, which is appropriate for this size room. And we feel like that's kind of the grand home theater setup uh, to be 7.1 plus four. Uh, you don't see any subs in this room, but we do have 12 subs that are behind the wall. On, They're like on wall subs. So they're in their own cabinets, but they're behind the fabric on the walls. When you need to have something that's very, very specifically placed in the room, then you can turn that into an audio object. And an audio object is something that has both 
the audio data and the metadata that says where it's placed in 3D space. And um, when you create an object, it actually uh, has the metadata and the object um, live together throughout the life of the file. So when you play it back in your home theater, um, or if you're playing in a, in a movie theater, the audio actually scales to the amount of speakers that are in the room. So in this room, 7.1 plus 4. Uh, but you could bring this into a smaller home theater that's maybe 5.1 and two overheads, or even you know a home th maybe a sound bar that has uh, Dolby Atmos. You know, there's different applications that you can hit on like an LG TV or an Xbox, for instance. And we create a lot of custom new content that's, that's uh, for that app, and we write music and. Oh, that's what that sounds like. I was looking through my camera. Uh, I want to play this drum set. I love all the diffusion on the walls. Just so weird. It is lunchtime. So yeah, like what you just saw, pretty much all that stuff was like some really cool mixing room. I can't really tell you what they were mixing in there, but uh, it was some pretty sweet stuff. It was yeah, it's super secret. It's Guardians of the Galaxy Eight. You saw it. It was awesome. The eighth one? Uh, so much better than the other seven. So we're gonna eat lunch here in a few seconds, but I wanted you to guys I wanted you guys to see this view. Like this is absolutely incredible. And this isn't even the top floor. So apparently there's a better view than even this. Did you see that sonic graffiti down there? What? Did you see that sonic graffiti? Where? Right there. Oh yeah. On the side of that building. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. So this is the living room. About to play some gears. And the sound guy is currently touching my butt. It's great. Are you ready for some gears, man? Never played before, so the answer is yes. <laughs> I know, me either. This is the headset I think we're gonna be using. Very nice. It's very realistic. Very realistic. Yeah, yeah. My living room always has this many people. Like, hang out. <laughs> I just need like a crew, you know, just to, to back me up. Brought an Xbox One X for us to take a look at Ooh. Gears of War 4 with Dolby Atmos. So we're going to show you that. Yeah, Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know how to play. Let's go. Show us what you got. Get the good footage first. Let me set this up. Right. Set this up. There we go. We'll just use all his as B-roll. So tell me, yeah, what are the, the advantages of the Plantronics rig headphones? So with the, the, one of the advantages with the Plantronics rig is having that spatial awareness. So when you're playing a game, when you're playing a shooter like Rainbow Six Siege or uh, PUBG, like Player Knows Battleground is really popular right now, uh, being able to hear the footsteps and the spatial awareness of like knowing where things are happening around you and with pinpoint accuracy is going to be a huge huge advantage for the players that are able to use that kind of thing. It's, it's going to be big, like, because what you see is almost as important as what you hear. Like, the audio needs to be just as on par as, as the video. Nice. That was great. Okay, so earlier, we saw a floor way lower than this, but this is the 16th floor. So, very high up. Very nice view of the city. I actually don't think it goes up any higher than this. That's the top of the building. Okay, finally back at the hotel. It's like eight o'clock, uh, seven, seven thirty, and uh, I gotta be on my plane at like six a.m. So I gotta leave here by like four, because traffic and distance and security and all that fun stuff. But uh, guys, this was, it was an awesome trip. I mean, I've never, I mean, as a content creator, you, you kind of like, you just get to this point where the shit that happens to you becomes unreal, you know? Like never in a million years when I started making videos on YouTube did I think that companies would start asking me to come out and visit their headquarters and play games at their location and see movies at the Dolby Theater and, uh... It's just, it's insane. Like, you don't feel like, like, I guess, like, I get, some people call it imposter syndrome, and, uh, you don't feel like you deserve any of it, but it just keeps happening anyway. Um, like, I was just out here recently, like you guys know, for Ubisoft, and, uh, coming back out here again in, like, the span of a couple months, man, it's just, it's insane, and I, I, I wonder what adventures are gonna come next, and, uh, 
it's really exciting. It's really exciting to be able to make these like kind of videos and do this special stuff with you guys. And how it apply, how it all applies to you is me making like you know generating these relationships with these different companies. Uh, it means like free shit for you guys too, as as my viewers and and everything like that. And I want to be able to spoil you guys too, you know, because you know you are what has made me what I am, you watch my videos, you share my content, you you, you trust in, you know, my, my update videos and, and stuff like that, and you trust in me to keep you informed, and, or you watch me for some reason, I don't know, I, I you guys, I don't know, uh, but anyway, uh, I, I'm not coming away from this trip empty-handed, I got this sweet fucking bag, uh, they gave me, let's see what we got here, I haven't even seen all this stuff, so this is like a water bottle, a Dolby water bottle, with like a straw or something. Uh, what else did we get here? Let's see what our what our goodies are. Uh, this is a well VIP badge. They let me keep that, which is really cool of them. This is fucking cool. This is a uh, uh, it's a USB. It's a thumb drive. It's a four gig thumb drive, but it looks like a cassette tape. Some of you may not even know what a cassette tape is. Another guest badge for whatever reason. Um, I think that's it in that pocket. And then, like, the coup de gras. I'm trying to do all this one-handed, I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. Well, the bag is really nice in and of itself. And then I got this, like, ESL hoodie. They just had, like, a bunch of ESL stuff. Like, I've never done eSports before. So, I'm like a huge phony walking around wearing this, but it is a super nice hoodie. Uh, and then what else do we get? We got, I got a t-shirt. A Dolby t-shirt. That's pretty sweet. So, a lot of clothes. <laughs> uh, another East, oh, this is a rig. This is for the uh, the headset. You'll see that in a second. And then the coup de gras is this badass Dolby Atmos supported. Sorry, my camera, my cinematography is like horrible here because I'm trying to do someone handed. So this is a wireless headset, which I need because my cats like to eat my cables. But uh, this is the the big bad boy that we came out here to test out. This is the Rig 800 LX. It's like a $150 headset, and uh, it works with Xbox and Windows, as you can see, so Windows 10. It's got a 24-hour battery life. Like, that is insane. And uh, the cool thing is, is they're, they, like, uh, I'm going to be talking with them, and before I left, they said that they want to start doing, like, giveaways and stuff on my channel. So maybe I'll get a few of these in the future to give away to you guys. Either the, they have another model, it's the 400 LX, it's like $100, this one's like 150 but uh, this thing is super badass. We got to try this out today. It's got like an amp and uh, noise canceling. It's uh, the this the the mic or whatever. You flip it up and down to mute it. It's got like inline like all the controls and shit. It's fully adjustable. This thing is really cool. It's it's got a memory like the cups are memory foam. Yeah, it's it's super nice. But yeah, I mean getting cool swag and everything is really nice. But. Getting to come out and, and meet people and make new friends and uh, experience a city that is really fucking cool. Like you can see, well you can't see because I got all my lights on. It's hard to tell what's going on out there. But I really hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I mean, I know like uh, it's not usually what I do. I, I don't like doing vlogs. Um, but I'm glad I got the experience and I'm really glad that I got to share it with you guys. So. I'm probably gonna crash and get on my plane and go home and edit this video. We got tons of For Honor stuff coming. We got Monster Hunter stuff coming. Uh, I'm gonna start diving into Dauntless. So expect to see a lot more of those three games on my channel. And uh, yeah, it's fun, fun times ahead, I guess. More adventures away. But thank you guys for being here with me on this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace out.